to my channel. Today's video is going to be a different type of video. I haven't done a video like this in so long, but I'm going to be doing a haul video. I got some stuff from Victoria's Secret, some stuff from Old Navy that I want to show you. Over the winter, I've gained some weight, so I've kind of been switching up my style, finding different things that I feel confident in, bras, my boob size went up, all that good jazz. I love watching haul videos. If you love watching haul videos, also give this video a big thumbs up. Why not? It's free and it really helps out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. I'm going to be showing some in the dressing room clips as well so you can see how the clothes fit me, the prices, the sizes, all that jazz. For reference, I'm 5 foot 10 and around 180 pounds, usually about a size uh, 14 or a size 0x right now. I am going swimming four times a week so my body is still like really fluctuating. So first I'm going to show you what I purchased and then I'll show you the clips of the things I tried on and that maybe I didn't pick for one reason or another and explain to you why I didn't, show you how it fits, all that jazz. So let's just get into it. So the first thing I purchased was this Victoria Secret fanny pack is this not the cutest thing you ever did see it's like a seat belt buckle i think it's so classy looking and i actually have had this for a little while but i haven't worn it until today this is my first time wearing it and you know what i really loved it i usually wear a backpack purse and it always makes my back sweat it's so hot out and it just makes my shoulders hurt having all that weight on my back and you always end up carrying more stuff probably than you need just because you have the space in the bag so this allows me to only really keep my essential it does hold my phone it holds like a pack of gum I have an extra little mini deodorant in here my little wallet I had to switch over from my big wallet I got this as well from Victoria's Secret isn't that so darling it holds like four cards more if you want to just double up and then you can put you know some change or some bills in here if you want to I really really love this and definitely highly recommend this it was on sale I don't remember the exact price I think it was around $40 that's regular price but i think i got it for like 25 bucks and i really really needed this so i'm super happy i bought this so the next thing from victoria's secret uh a month ago at the victoria's secret sale in june i purchased three sports bras i went there for my favorite body by victoria bras come to find out i had gone from a c up to a double d cup with the weight i have gained over the winter time so i purchased these perfect comfort push-up bras i thought they were the cat's meow they are so so comfortable i'm gonna put a picture of them on the screen because i don't have one to show you right now they don't have any wire in them they are so so comfortable and they made my boobs look really nice i'm actually wearing one right now if you can see it holds me up really well without having any wire and it's not digging because there's no wire so i really really love these bras well i got it just like a month and a half ago and they've already stretched out to shit this one because it's burgundy i wasn't wearing it i was holding off until like the fall seasons because i've been wearing more like yellows light pink whites you know summery colors so i wasn't wearing the dark one i was wearing i had purchased a yellow one and a pink one so you can go to walmart giant tiger different stores and get sports bras for like 10 to 15 dollars whereas victoria's secret sports bras are like 30 dollars and up and you know they only have their sales usually twice a year sporadically they'll have different bras on sale you got to really keep a watch out on their website or in the emails today i realized that the body by victoria bras are on sale just this weekend only and they barely ever go on sale those bras are well let's see i think they're 60 dollars regular price yeah, $55.95, like that's a lot for one bra. And you can't just wear one bra all the time. It gets sweaty. You need to wash it. You need more than one. So I'm rambling here. We went to the store and I brought the bras in that had stretched out. And I showed the woman with the receipt that I've had them for a month and a half. I wasn't really sure if there was anything they would do about it. But I had to at least try because a month and a half for sports bras that were $30 plus tax each. I was like, okay, like I'm just losing out on money. And now I feel like... You know if i'm wearing a tight top and they're not holding my boobs up anymore they're sagging that it just doesn't look nice and i don't feel confident in them and i didn't want to wear them anymore and now i have no bras so i have to go back and buy bras again because i've grown so much in my bra size that i had just bought those three bras and that's what i was going to live in for right now until i lose weight or whatever so i go in i speak to the manager and at first she was a little hesitant she was saying things you know like oh nobody else has complained nobody else has brought them back things like that and i'm like okay 
but look at them. So, you know, I brought in the product to show her. I brought in the receipt as proof. When I purchased these bras, you could clearly tell by looking at them. I wish I had taken a video clip of how it looked before I returned them. I might actually have a little video clip of showing it to my friend when it was all sweaty for me doing yard work. If I do, I'm going to put it in here. Maybe you'd be able to tell regardless. It was really stretched out around the band here because my boobs are so heavy that they were pushing on the band because there's no support really. There's just a little bit of padding underneath, no wire or anything to really hold up my boobs with that particular sports bra. So they were starting to fall out underneath the bra, which is not a comfortable feeling to always have to feel like you have to keep pulling your boob back up into the bra. And they're, you know, should be up here in a bra, but they were sitting down there. So I was not super happy about it. I explained it to her and thankfully she said, I can either get my money back or I can exchange them for other bras. Well, I need bras. So I only have this one. The only reason I have this bra is because I hadn't been wearing it. So this is probably gonna have the same problem where it's gonna stretch out. What can you do? I wish I had just brought all three and exchanged all three, but I was wearing this one because it's literally the only bra I have. So thankfully she let me pick out two other bras. So I didn't have to spend any money. I was expecting to have to spend another $30 on each bra today, which I really don't have to be spending on bras every month or two. So we'll show you what I got. I went back to my good old faithful Body by Victoria's that I always have worn. I've been wearing for years. I highly recommend them. So the first one I got was just a plain black. I actually have gone down a cup size in a month and a half. So I guess the swimming is working. Unfortunately, of course, it's working in the boobs. I'm not noticing as much in the rest of my body. But you know, baby steps. The material is so, so soft. Like I said, there is a material over top, like a padding here to make it really soft so it doesn't dig in. There's no front closure or anything to be digging in and there's no lace or anything to make you itchy. And this is like a nice stretchy material, but it's also soft. It's not like a latex or spandex, nothing like that. They're really, really nice bras. And I haven't had any problems with these bras really lasting. My only reason I had to buy new ones is because I went up two cup sizes and I was literally spilling out of my bras. I look, I look like I had four boobs. Like it was ridiculous. I had to buy new bras. So I got this one for free basically, but really I was exchanging. And then look how pretty this one is. Oh, can you see it? I don't know if you can see, can you see? Oh, there we go. Can you see the sparkle? There's sparkle along the top here and sparkle around the edging here. Look at that. Is that not so pretty? Everybody needs a basic nude and a black bra. I mean, I almost wanted to get two nude bras because I'm wearing so much light colored shirts right now, but on the random, I will wear black. So I got those two things basically for free. I was expecting to have to rebuy them. I didn't think they were gonna do anything about the bras, so I'm really thankful. I know a lot of people are not happy with the fact that they are not catering really to plus size women and i really think they should go up in sizes when it comes to the bras and stuff like my mom was complaining that she couldn't fit into a bra i believe they only go up to a size 38 and she's a 42 around the back around the waistband so that really sucks but i have a really hard time finding bras that fit me and are comfortable that's the reason i'm giving them my money so next i want to talk about anybody who has a little bit of a pooch that bothers them a little bit of a fupa whatever you want to call it i have found some really really great underwear that help kind of smooth it out it's not spanks it's not a waist trainer it's not going to really hurt and suck you in completely but it definitely helps i wear all high-waisted pants shorts you name it so if you don't wear high-waisted this probably wouldn't help you but this is what they look like so if you see this thick waistband here, it's very like stretchy. It's kind of like a compression waistband. It helps so much to smooth me out and make me feel more confident. They are $12 a pair, which is not bad, but they always have sales on and I was able to get five for $35, I believe. Yeah, five for 35. I grabbed a couple other little granny looking panty ones that are just really cute, just comfortable. Why is the color washing out like that? These are a light pink, and then I got a maroon pair. 
I like to just have comfortable, easy to throw on for going swimming and stuff. I mean, nobody's seeing my underwear, so I don't really care too much about being sexy right now. I used to wear thongs all the time, but since I've gained weight and, you know, I've been wearing these high waist suck you in underwear, I haven't really been wearing thongs. They don't come in thongs, which really sucks. I don't know why they don't, but they should because you have to see my panty lines now to be able to have something that holds you in. I think some of the Spanx material ones might have thongs. I can't say for sure, I've never tried them, but some of them are like 80 and up dollars. Like I'm not spending that much on a pair of underwear. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Okay, and then the haul that we're all waiting for, I think that you probably came to this channel for is the Old Navy haul. Old Navy has really, really great affordable clothes for all shapes and sizes. They have so many sizes and like, they don't make you feel like I go into the stores that I used to go in when I was a lot smaller and it makes me feel bad about myself because I don't fit in those sizes anymore and even like a large or an extra large shouldn't be so tight that I can't fit into it but I can go to a place like Susie Shear or Old Navy and I can buy like a smaller or a medium and a top and it'll fit me just fine and I'll have room to breathe so it's all you know, in your perspective of what store you go to. Some stores will make you feel like, you know, you can't fit in anything, even an extra large is too tight. And then you can go to another store and a smaller or medium fits you just fine. So just remember your size is not the problem. The clothes are the problem, okay? The stores are the problem. Not every store is inclusive. As you know, a womanly body, you have curves, you might have a, a stomach, you might have huge, thighs, big hips, whatever the case is, and not every store is going to accommodate that. But Old Navy, I find it's really good for that. They, I think we're going to go into the Old Navy in the dressing room clips and show you everything that I tried on. And then I'm going to let you know what I actually buy. Let me know if you like anything that you see in the video clips I didn't buy that you thought looked good on me that maybe you think I should have bought. That would be really helpful. It's always nice to have a friend's opinion. Okay, so first thing you see is the black sleeveless tie front cami, which was regular $34.99. Keep in mind, Old Navy always has sales. I found it a little low cut for me, although it was pretty. Then these are the high waist yoga crop capris in a size extra large, regular $20. They have a really nice compression waistband, which I really like to smooth out the tummy. Next is the sleeveless ruffle trim top, $30 in a size large, on sale for 10 bucks. The color felt a little off to me. This white ruffle trim top was $27 and completely see-through. Now I'm pointing at the camel toe. These gray high waist biker shorts were awesome. I wish they had them in black, but they didn't. They also have the compression waistband and they were regular $25. I loved this outfit so much. The yellow striped button front cami was $35 and I had it tied in the front. I kind of wish I had gotten this top. Pairing it with the high waist active legging has a pocket for your phone, $45, nice thick waistband to smooth out the tummy. So here we have another ruffle trim top, but in a floral pattern. This one is in a size medium, regular $30 again on for $10. And then just to compare, the white one is in a size small. So the first thing you see, I bought this. You've seen it in the video clips. I love this top. It's so light and airy. I don't feel sweaty in this. I really, really wanted a pair of the biker shorts, but I have been calling all week and they do not have my size. Old Navy gets shipments three times a week, they told me, but they don't always know what's coming in. It's not always the same product. So I've been calling and calling and calling. Haven't been able to get the bike shorts. I tried on a pair in the clips in gray, but it really showed the camel toe and I just didn't like the gray, like whitish sort of pattern that it had going on. I want just all black. So I've been really dying to get a pair of those because it is so hot. It's been like 42 degrees here and I just can't be wearing long pants. I don't have a lot of shorts that are comfortable. I have a couple pairs of the flowy shorts, but they give you a lot of chafing, chub rub. So I don't like to have to deal with that and have to put the anti-chafing gel all the time. I'd like something a little longer. So I thought bike shorts would be perfect. And I kind of like the way they looked with some tops, but I need plain black ones. So I'm still waiting on those, but what I got for now was a pair of these these are great okay old navy active high rise fitted three-quarter length 
These ones are capris. They're longer than I would like. I want the shorts, like I said, but I can't have them right now. So at least this is good. And even into like September, October, where it's getting a little bit cooler, these will be perfect. You could wear it with a long t-shirt. You could wear it with a crop top if you're confident in that what i love about these and i've been looking for everywhere the biker shorts were the exact same type of style as this with the thick waistband so this waistband has like a compression waistband to it it doesn't completely make your stomach look invisible it's not spanx but it will help smooth you out a little bit and make you feel just a little bit more confident so these regular price are $29.94, but they are always having sales, especially on the weekend. So wait for a sale. I got these for $14 and they're very nice. They're very comfortable, very stretchy. I'm looking forward to wearing these to the pool. I need something that's going to be comfortable, easy to throw on. I've been wearing this one pair of Capri sweatpants. Actually, let me show you them. I literally have like two pairs of shorts that fit me that, like I said, give me chub rub. Or I have this one pair of Capris that I keep wearing and they're like a sweatpant material. So they get pretty hot. But like I like the way they look and they feel they're very comfortable. They're very loose. So these are the kind of shorts I'm talking about. They're really nice, loose, flowy shorts. I never had a problem last summer with Chub Rub, but now that I've gained a little bit of weight, these just don't work for me without anti-chafing gel and they're always like riding up into my crotch. I can't stand it, which sucks because they're so cute. So I've been kind of living in these like high-waisted capris, but they're like sweatpant material, so it gets so hot. So I've been really looking for some nice, light, flowy, airy shorts that are long enough that I don't get chub rub. I don't wanna have to wear shorts underneath my shorts. I don't wanna have to put chafing gel all the time on them. So if anybody has any suggestions of shorts that they find are like flattering, comfortable, kind of give you like a smoothing to the stomach or at least flowy so they don't suck onto the stomach, please let me know in the comments down below. Keep in mind I'm in Canada, so I might not always have all the same stores as you. So the only other thing I purchased from Old Navy and they were on for $10 is this cute little white flowy top. It's not a crop top, so it's long enough if you wanna wear it with tights. It almost goes to cover your vagina, but not completely. But it's long enough to cover your little pooch. It's nice and light and flowy, so it's not going to suck onto anything that you don't want it to suck onto. It doesn't suck onto the back rolls or the side rolls, whatever you might have. I might actually get a couple more of these, but I don't know. It's not really my style per se, but it was just so comfy and cheap that I thought it would be perfect to wear, easy to throw on to go to the pool. It's really been hard to find clothes that I like that I feel confident in right now. I don't have much to choose from, so I've been, you know, trying on a lot of things and I just thought, you know what, I think some of my viewers would love to see. I know I'm always looking at different stores and hauls and seeing people that are around my size and seeing how they look in the clothes before I go to the stores. Because sometimes you go to a mall and it can be so overwhelming. There's so many stores and you don't know where to go. And then you go in certain stores and they don't have clothes that are even close to fitting you. And it makes you really discouraged. So it's nice to watch like hauls and see what people that might not be super thin would be buying and where they buy it and how much it is and find stuff that is affordable find stuff that's your type of style i had problems when i was really thin most of my life i was anorexic i barely ate anything i still always thought i was fat and it's crazy because i look back and think when i was 100 pounds i still was walking around saying oh my god look at my stomach my stomach sticks out and now i'm just like what was i talking about like why did i think that i know because i'm so tall and i had like really no shape that it really had nowhere to go but out so yeah i'd always looked like i had this little tiny belly especially when i would eat but now i'm a lot more curvy and healthy but now i feel like i'm just not toned and i'm you know gaining weight in places i don't want to you know it's been the winter i wasn't healthy i wasn't able to get out as much i was having a lot of issues with my health so now that it's summer and I'm kind of getting things cleared off and able to get to the pool, I mean, I still will always have health issues for the rest of my life, but I'm really just trying to get myself back on track and it feels really good. I have dropped almost five pounds already, so that makes me feel amazing that it's actually doing something. It's so discouraging when you try to work out and you just don't see any results. It makes you want to quit. Same with dieting. You know, diet is like 80% of your issue when it comes to weight. 
So I don't eat treats. I don't drink pop. My issue is carbs. I love carbs so, so much. I could eat bread for every single meal. I love cereal. I love pasta. I love rice. I love potatoes. I love all that good stuff. So it's okay, but in moderation, in my opinion, I have had my body where I was super, super underweight. And I have also had my body where I was at a very, very healthy weight and it wasn't that long ago. And I actually had abs. My body was toned, I felt confident, I could wear pretty much anything I wanted to wear because I wasn't worried about, oh, there's a lump sticking out here, oh, this looks chubby here. I can't sit here and say that I'm Miss Body Positive for myself personally. I do have insecurities with my body. I always have, even when I was super underweight, and I probably always will, but I am doing my best to feel confident within myself, and I hope you do too. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this type of video and would like to see more of them when I go shopping taking videos showing you the stuff I buy the stuff the prices how it fits on my body and yeah so that's gonna be it for right now thank you so much for watching and until the next time bye